So next, we will look at some of the standard chemotherapy options. Uh, what we have is bendamustine and rituximab, which I have referred to as BR. And we have RCHOP, which is a combination of several drugs, uh, including rituximab, cytoxin, adriamycin, vancristine, and prednisone. The name is not necessarily important. Just remember the CHOP portion. As you can see from the two studies, it appears that bendamustine and rituximab is better in mantle cell lymphoma than RCHOP uh, in patients who are so not necessarily fit for an autologous stem cell transplantation. Again, we look, look to that progression-free survival, the PFS, and then we have TTNT, which is time to next treatment, meaning the time from that treatment to when you need another treatment. And in both categories, bendamustine plus rituximab was better in the original study from Germany, the STEEL trial. The US-led trial on the right called the BRIGHT study still indicates that if there is a progression-free survival benefit, again, time where your cancer has not returned and we don't need to do anything about it with bendamustine versus RCHOP or RCVP, which is very similar to bendam, uh, RCVP, which is very similar to RCHOP. So again, from this situation, bendamustine and rituximab seem to be the better option in patients uh, who are unfit for a more intensive therapy uh, compared to RCHOP. And its side effect profile is a bit better because you do not get the cardiac toxicity, meaning irritation to your heart or irritation to your nerve that you get with RCHOP with the bendamustine and rituximab.